So hello everybody this is Atulia here and we are going to be discussing how do you prepare for campus placements now we we'll keep this video very very short and specifically in this video we'll be discussing a 3 month preparation plan and this would be valid for you if your placements are about to begin or or if they are ongoing or probably if you are already placed and still preparing for placement just to get that higher offer probably right uh now i'm going to be sharing a lot of resources that you probably would find in the description of the video just watch the whole video and pause that you can have a look at all of those resources as well now if you come from a tier 2 or tier 3 college and a lot of companies do not visit your campus so on our social media handles we share a lot of off campus hirings probably we share like 20 to 35 off campus hirings every month so make sure that you join us on our social media handles specifically instagram and whatsapp for sure and you'll definitely find all of these links as well in the description of the video and this would also be valid for people who are from tier 1 college because if your college does not allow you to hold more than one offer probably you would need an off campus hiring update channel as well so that outside your college you can get the second offer which probably would be higher than your first offer as well and by the way we at prepinsta have two different website prepinsta.com and prepinstaprime.com So the reason why I'm telling you is because a lot of resources that I'm going to be telling you would be from prepinstar.com which is a free blog based website and prepinstaprime.com which is like your favorite OTD for upskilling and placement preparation. So let's have a look upon the things that you should be preparing for. So I'm going to be listing eight different things. I'll expand upon and give you detailed analysis on each topic one by one. So let's have a look upon all of these eight different things at first. Now first is aptitude Uh, the second one is languages that you should know C C plus plus Java Python. We'll talk about that. Then prep and start top hundred code. This is like amazing. It's like Bible. Uh, then uh, you have data structures and comparative coding. Then you have skills and projects. Then you have some theory subjects from computer science that you need to study. Doesn't matter if you're a C S student or a non C S I T student. Uh, then you have your resume, which is very important. I'll talk about that. Then you have previous year questions and finally. practice 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 that's the most important thing now the first thing here is aptitude now this is the one thing that people underestimate the most but you should not be underestimating people directly start go ahead and learning probably c c plus plus java python or data structures or competitive coding but they don't learn aptitude but very important thing almost all the companies 80% of the people will get rejected in the first round and only 20% of the people will be able to attend interviews now these 80% of the people would be rejected because there's an aptitude test now there are a few friends of mine in my college during my time did not even get the chance to attend the interviews and they were dsa masters because why they didn't prepare uh, for aptitude test and this is very important aptitude you must be preparing quantitative aptitude logical reasoning verbal english visual reasoning and data interpretation these are must but there are a few companies which also ask game based aptitude that separate thing which is asked by capgemini and ibm and then there's script arithmetic which is also asked by a few companies like infosys and elitmus now for aptitude i would suggest prep and start learn aptitude section it would have everything it would have the formulas for each and every aptitude topic how to solve the question quickly using tips and tricks uh, you know your questions to practice as well now one more thing is a lot of people use books like rs agarwal or arun sharma to prepare for aptitude now these are great and you can do that however i would still suggest you prep and start primes uh, questions for different aptitude questions and you know tips and tricks the reason why because most important thing is an aptitude test is timing for example if you have 25 questions to solve in 25 minutes it's very difficult because there you need to solve every question in every single minute so your time management is there and with prep and stars analytics that you get provided you get to know how quickly you are solving the question in contrast to others as well so that's very important now if you're looking for a specific course for the same thing then if you take a prep and star prime subscription you get more than 200 plus courses now courses also being from aptitude uh, you know quants logical verbal data interpretation visual reasoning and whatever covered in a beautiful detailed manner Now one more thing is a lot of previous year questions get repeated every year in fact with TCS Amazon and any other company at least 
25 to even 60 70 percent of the questions repeat from the previous year questions so make sure that you do also practice that you can visit any prep and stars dashboard and check the previous year questions uh from topic wise format on it now the next thing is languages now with languages you need to definitely definitely prepare c even if you're a python coder c plus plus coder or a java coder c is must the reason being a lot of mcqs in the uh online test and even questions in the interview as well could be asked for example pointers pointers concept may not be there in python or java right but you still need to know all of them because it is expected of you to know c and it wouldn't take much time practically more not more than three days or so now it's completely up to you now for preparation i would recommend that there are already blogs on c c plus plus java python on prepensa you can have a look at that and again if you have prepensa prime subscription you get access to 200 courses and c c plus plus java python courses are included in the part of the subscription now the next thing is prep and start top 100 codes now it is the bible and the best resource out there for your preparation for service based companies now these are like approximately 100 questions that are most frequently asked in service based companies it is must do even if you're preparing for service based company then then also it's must do even if you're preparing for product based companies before moving ahead to dsa and competitive coding i would definitely be recommending you to complete prep and start top 100 codes and again uh, we have a basic in coding and intermediate coding course on prep and start prime you can have a look on that now the next thing is dsa and competitive coding now dsa is a must if you are preparing for service based companies now you should only do competitive coding if you are preparing for product based companies additionally once you are done with the basic dsa and basic competitive coding course there's a sheet that we have created because you want to practice all of those dsa concepts and competitive coding concept so we have created prep and start sheet that again the link of that is in the description of the video make sure that you practice all of those questions once you complete the dsa and competitive coding now there are some core computer science subjects additionally that you need to do so for example dbms and sql is must do for everybody non csid and csid you will be asked in all the interviews 10 minutes would be spent upon this particular concept and post that then you have operating system and sdlc that is software engineering this is something that only computer science people should do and then you have computer networks you only do it if your college has companies which are visiting your campus which are companies of hardware or networking so for example arista networks intel qualcomm cisco all of these now for individually all of these subjects if you give like five six hours daily in that case each of these subjects would just take two to three days for your placement preparation the next thing is your skills and projects now this is again very very important you should be skilled in any of a digital skill of your choice for example data science artificial intelligence machine learning cyber security ethical hacking full stack web development and so many more like cryptocurrency blockchain etc any of those and get certified from a reputed organization and that's not it you need to have projects that you can demo a lot of people wait for their final semester wherein they have their final year project but companies are already expecting of you to have like two three projects that you can demo now by demo what do i mean by that is basically interviewers would be asking you to open up your laptop or if it's a virtual interview on skype or elsewhere they'll be asking you to share your screen and show them the code of the project or the github repository or you know click upon the run button and then show me the demoable project this is expected of you a lot of people make this reasons that okay it was basically a group project my friend has the code and i don't have it or probably my system got formatted or i don't know why my code is not running probably some library has changed it will lead you to straight straight rejection now imagine that you're already working in the industry two years three years down the line now if let's say you are interviewing somebody whom would you hire there's one guy who's written projects uh, in his resume and is unable to probably show the demo working copy of those projects and there's another guy who has made amazing projects and is able to demo right there in the interview so this is very important if you're looking for a higher offer the only difference between somebody who get placed at 4 5 lpa and somebody who get placed at 30 40 lpa is that they have amazing projects and they can demo that apart from that obviously there's dsa and competitive coding skills as well but projects do make the difference of getting a higher off now with this i would recommend again prep and Star prime if you have the subscription in that case we have amazing skills we have full stack web development we have ai ml data science uh, data analytics cyber security ethical hacking aws cloud you can 
access all of these courses once you get the subscription. So whichever is the skill of your choice, you can go ahead and learn that just with one single subscription. Now, resume very, very important things. Now, for all the product-based companies, even before the online test, 60 to 50% of the people would be rejected based upon what? Based upon resume shortlisting. They'll automatically be asking you just to upload your resume or probably your college would provide. Amazon does this, Flipkart does this, Dayshot does this, Cisco does this. 50% of the people even would not be able to give the online test and the reason to that is they did not have their resume shortlisted because their resume was absolutely bad. So we made an additional video that probably you can find in the description or somewhere here uh, that you can find. Please make sure that you also do uh, go ahead and watch that particular video. That's an amazing resource. Now, one last thing is make sure that you don't add the things that you don't know in the resume. For example, I had added PHP as one of my languages that I know in my resume. The interviewer asked me the full form of PHP and it didn't even start from P and I couldn't even answer the question. Actually, it's hypertext preprocessor. It doesn't even start from P. So if you have mentioned projects and skills and languages that you are not 100% confident in, please remove all of those from your resume. Now, next thing very, very important for you is your revision and practice, 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 practice. Why? Because your placement season on campus specifically would go on for six months. And off-campus hiring that's outside your college would go on for the next 18 months also. So you learn things and eventually when next company is coming probably 15 days later, you'll probably forget a lot of things as well. So you need to revise. Next thing is practicing. Again, coding is like mathematics. You can't just read and learn coding. You have to make sure that just like mathematics, you write, you practice coding every day. So once you're complete with your DSA and the competitive coding, you're kind of revising it all over again. But just to practice afterwards, then you're going and solving these lead code or code chef questions or the questions that we've given in prep and stuff sheet because lead code is very vast, code forces is very vast and we don't want you to probably solve all of these 1000 problems. There are only 200, 250 problems that you need to solve all of those. So all of these are given in prep and stuff sheet. But again, you complete DSA, you complete competitive coding theory. There are some classic problems that are also associated with it. Then only after that you go ahead and solve, you know, previous year questions of Hackerang, AmCat, Hacker Earth, uh, so on. And then probably you do lead code and code chef and so on. I see a lot of people, what they do is they directly are like, okay, let's do lead code and we learn DSA from there. No, you learn DSA as a theory. You practice previous year questions, then only you go ahead and solve these sheets by Prepinsta or other sheets or just go ahead directly with lead code if you're aware about what problems to solve. So now you see there are multiple things that you need to prepare for your placement preparation and it would surely take you at least three months to prepare all of those if you put in the hard work. Now, even if you're starting late today, it doesn't mean that you won't get plays or opportunities are gone by because six months on campus would go on. Post that also off campus would go on for another 18 months as I've already told you. And all the top companies would hire off campus. Amazon would hire, Flipkart would hire, Cisco would hire. And if you have Prepinsta Prime subscription, then there are 400 plus hiring partners of Prepinsta. Uh, once you complete certain courses, you get referrals in all of these companies as well. But important thing is make sure that you take up the time and start your preparation and complete it end to end. Don't get satisfied with your first offer that you've gotten. Even if it's 5 LPA, 6 LPA or 10 LPA, you can always go on to a 40 LPA. I got placed first of all in TCS at 3.5 LPA. But eventually I got placed in Google at, I not disclose, but it was humongous. You know, right? Now, still the point. There are multiple things that you should prepare. Now, you would probably go on the internet and get confused. You're probably watching some YouTube video and preparing for that of the resources or blogs from the internet. Probably if you're looking at something more concrete, I can suggest you there are tracks on Prepinsta Prime. So if you have the Prepinsta Prime subscription again, so in that case, there's track for service-based company, track for product-based companies, there's a track for fan companies, then there's a track for complete uh, placement preparation and data science companies as well. So you can have a look at that. That will tell you that out of these 200, 300 courses that are there on Prepinsta Prime, what all courses that you need to complete and would show you good analytics of how much that you've completed them. So your placement preparation is kind of intact and is in a good roadmap. And also, obviously taking Prepinsta Prime subscription also solves the problem of wherein you don't need to buy, let's say from XYZ website, one course for DSA, XYZ website, again, from one course for competitive coding, ABC website for machine learning, 
you know some other website for let's say aptitude and so on just one single page everything is simplified close the video and at the very end i just want to say a few things very 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 important uh, make sure that you follow us on the social media handle whatsapp and instagram at least definitely links are in the description so you get updated about you know more than 300 plus companies hire off campus every month so drives of all of those very important uh second thing is again make sure that you subscribe to our youtube channel for new amazing videos and if your friend or girlfriend is preparing for placements uh share this video and follow me on my instagram i have 130k subscribers right now i'd love to go to 200k